<laughs> so welcome and thank you for being here. I'm of course Meg and this is my fur baby Lily who you are likely to see in many of my videos. She tends to come along and be a part of the videos too. I'm really glad that you're here. It is my heart and soul to shift our dialogue from comparison and judgment to self-compassion and acceptance. And if we want to see change in another, if we want to see change in our families, if we want to see change in our partners, then it must start with us. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful that you're here. Today in this video, I wanted to share with you the practice that I speak about in my book, Watch Your Language. This practice is of course still something I use today. This in conjunction with the Be Here method that you'll get when you receive this book is literally my go-to whenever I feel out of balance, whenever my dialogue starts to shift back to judgment or comparison or the practices of self-sabotage, numbing and running start to creep in. This brings me back to an awareness to be present in the moment, to notice that I'm judging, to notice that I'm comparing and to give myself permission to pause in order to choose again. Now this practice, as I speak about in the very first story of my book, Watch Your Language, is something that I believe we can all do. We all have 20 minutes in our day and when you read my book, that is the one thing that I ask for from you is 20 minutes to put back into yourself. We spend so much time on these devices, right? I know that you can give me 20 minutes so that you can put this time into you. So I want you to just affirm that for a moment to yourself, placing your hand on your heart and taking a moment to really feel what that means. Just repeating these words, I choose every day forth from here to really commit to putting this time into myself, to start to move from autopilot to presence, to shift my dialogue from judgment and comparison to compassion and acceptance so that I can not only be a light for myself but a light for those around me. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just noticing just how good that feels alone. Saying that to yourself, putting yourself first, setting those boundaries. So this is the 20 minute practice that changed my life and I hope that it can change yours too, right? This is broken down into four steps and the very first part of this 20 minute practice is five minutes. When you first wake up in the morning, I want you to lie in bed to set your alarm for five minute snooze. Place your hand on your heart and start to repeat your affirmations and intention for the day. When we can do this without jumping on our phone, without engaging in anyone or anything else, if we can start our day right here with an intention backed with emotion, we've got to believe it, right? And I talk on that way much more in the book. But set your intention, feel it as you repeat it to yourself. Spend five minutes, that first five minutes of your day, repeating that affirmation to yourself and feel it in every single cell of your body, right? When we do this, our brain is actually in a bit of a theta state. Right during the day, our brain is operating in its beta brain waves, maybe dropping down to alpha. But when we first wake up in the morning, that first moment of when we think, are we asleep? Am I still dreaming? That is the point where we can actually access the subconscious and start to rewire those hardwired neural pathways 
right? That once believed we were unworthy, that once believed we were not enough, that once believed, right, that we are playing small. And with practice and repetition, that's why I say do this every day for the rest of your life, with practice and repetition, this then starts to become your dialogue, right? We start to get behind it and we believe that we are worthy. We believe that we are enough and we believe that we are worthy of love, compassion and kindness. The second five minutes, I want you to get up. I want you to scrape your tongue, right? It's an Ayurvedic practice. I speak on it again in the book. We want to clear the armor and the toxicity from our body. So don't drink any water just yet. Scrape your tongue. Get rid of the toxicity that has built up overnight. Um, and then what I want you to do is have a glass of warm water with some lemon. Then stand in front of the mirror, right? And repeat the affirmation to yourself. Look yourself in the eyes and repeat what you just repeated in bed. Say it to yourself until you smile or until you giggle or until you laugh. Make it feel really silly and stupid and get right behind it. You may as well. This is your time, right? And when you crack a smile, when you say it with feeling and emotion, you look yourself in the mirror and you go, you know what? This is what's happening today. This is how I'm going to feel. This is how I'm going to glow up because it must come from within. You then go and write that affirmation down. That is the first 10 minutes of your day, right? And then after that, you go do you. Right? You can get on your phones after that, you can uh, deal with the kids, you can deal with your partner, whatever it is, then go and move. I definitely recommend doing that. Um, but those first 10 minutes, super, super easy. And I know that you can promise me that you can do that. Right? The rest of the 20 minute practice. Again, super simple. Gratitude, appreciation, taking time out to pause. We spend so much time on these guys. Now, if you have little kids around you or teenagers or whatever, I want you to see if you can do this with them, right? So preferably, like maybe even at the dinner table, maybe you could all write down three things that you're grateful for, right? You know, I know we all speak on this. Everyone speaks on it, but how many of us do it, right? Have, instead of being on phones at the dinner table or sitting in front of a TV or a device, Write down what is it that we are all grateful for today and have a discussion around it, right? And this doesn't have to be things that were amazing. This can be things that were triggering, things that were challenging, things that were really hard, right? There's always something to be learned. So write down three things that you're grateful for. Now, before you go to bed, you need to take some quiet time. And I've just said five minutes for this 20 minute practice, right? But if you could do 10 amazing, and I want it to be in complete stillness. We have so much noise and chatter around us. We're constantly living in a busy world and we almost numb from the things we don't want to feel because we're afraid of the silence. I want you to dive into the silence. When we are silent, it is when we are able to hear. So find a meditation cushion like what I'm sitting on and sit up nice and tall and just breathe in and breathe out and allow yourself to sit in the discomfort, right? Have a little journal next to you because the things are gonna come up, right? The things that you ran from in your day, the things that you pushed away or that we numb from, right? They're gonna come up. And again, I talk about it so much in my book. It's what the book's about. These samskaras, these things we've held onto, we cannot push them down. Energy must move. So give yourself five to 10 minutes of silence every single night to just tune in, to take a moment to just give yourself permission to be still, right? And when we are still, that's when our creative juices can flow. That's when we can acknowledge the things that unfolded in our day and become curious, not critical about it. And from that point, we allow ourselves to feel, right? We must experience things in the moment. We must feel, not push away the things that unfold in our day. So if we've been at work, been with the kids, been whatever, doing what we've done, we've had a really overwhelming day, it is so important to stop 
and take in and experience the feelings of what you went through in your day. None of it is good, none of it is bad. It is all there meant to be felt. That is your 20 minute practice every single day, right? We all have 20 minutes. By doing that, you are showing up, you are putting yourself first, you are stepping in to do the work and I promise you, things will start to change. Repetition, consistency, practice, start to show up, right? You are so deserving of feeling full love compassion, acceptance, right? And absolute admiration of the body and the skin that you are in. We are all here to watch your language. By you starting to watch your language and showing up for yourself, you are giving permission for another person to do the same. Once again, thank you so much for reading my book, Watch Your Language. Please feel free to contact me on Instagram, watch.yuck.language, or tag me in the practices and let me know how you're going. I promise you, even when it feels like nothing is working, right? If you're doing this, you think nothing is changing. Be persistent. We have, like me, spent years and years of negative self-talk self-sabotage, right? Body comparison and the dialogue of not feeling enough. It takes time to unravel it and to rewire our brains to come into that state of worthiness, love, acceptance, and compassion. You got this and I've got you. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.